Wanders here, and today I want to talk to you guys about something that I kind of got lazy on, and it's my fault. And now I'm learning, and now I'm paying for it. What's going on, two of you? It is your boy Rick Wanders, and today I want to talk to you guys about something that I'm just now having to learn and, and get used to. I kind of took the easy way out, and now I'm paying for it. Anybody who's been following my channel knows that I've been going through a lot of different things with cameras and getting used to things and making the adjustments that I really need and want, and just trying to maintain a certain level, a certain setup that I really, really, really want out of my gear. Anybody who's been following my channel knows that I've been going through a lot of different things with just camera and gear, and getting the proper setup that I really, really want for, you know, I guess the quality of the video that I'm really looking for. And right now, I'm trying out a whole bunch of different things just because I'm learning and forcing myself to grow. I'm challenging myself to step out of my comfort zone. Now, oh, I believe I've found where I want to be, what I want to do, and how I'm going to be driving my camera from here on out. I think I have the mode. And it's going to require a little bit more editing, but things are going to look better and bigger in production than they have before. At least that's the hope. This is actually the first video that I've ever recorded with the new settings. And actually, we're still playing around with a couple things in this video. If you look at any of the clips from before, you'll see that they're in different frame rates. The reason that I did all that is because I'm trying to figure out if I wanna shoot in 24 or 30 frames per second. Now, you can't give me too much shit for this. I told you I don't know much about cameras. I don't know much about editing. I have just decided to take this plunge into the YouTube world just to create and do things my own way and and to just have a lot of freedom and express myself. You guys know that. But alas, I've learned something and that is recording is so much more than just hitting the record button. There are a lot of things that go into making sure that your video comes out the way that you might want it to and it's just because you know, human eyes are different and we see things apparently in 24 frames per second. That is what is natural to us. Really weird. I had no idea. The other part of that magic that I'm talking about is also, you know, the lighting and the exposure. And you might notice this color is different than most of the videos that I've done before. And it's because I'm going for a more neutral recording style now. I'm going neutral, that way I can do more in post-production. I don't know how that's going to turn out for me. <laughs> I'm really hoping that it turns out dope, but worst come to worst, it doesn't, and we just figure it out on the fly. I ordered something special, had to treat myself. I saw this online, and I was like, you know what? It's kind of dope. Even though I was never a really big CSGO fan, and even still, don't really care for it too much, the knives are pretty dope. So what you've seen here is I've ordered myself a new knife. One that I may never use for anything practical. You know, I, I have the bench made for that. Love that. Great company. Amazing warranty. Lifetime guarantee. But at the very least, I wanted to have something else that I could use for maybe an unboxing video. Open up a bag or open, open up whatever I have to. You know what I mean? So let's take a look at it.
I love the color. The color is so dope. I think that's easily like the best part of the dang knife itself. Uh, these little details and like just the way that, the way they really try to capture the game and capture the exclusivity and how ridiculous those skins are on all the CS:GO skins. It's really cool. I can appreciate it. Had my first GB in a very long time last night. We lost. I'm not gonna lie. I could have done more. Um, I think chemistry is definitely a huge part of it. More so than anything, you know, I'm not a fan of being blamed for stuff. I'm all for taking the blame if I own it. You know, if I deserve it, for sure, put it on me. But when there's no chemistry, when there's no help, there's no, there's no nothing, I'm not gonna eat it all for you guys, you know what I mean? Like, it's a 50-50 street, it, it's a team. It's not I, it's not you, it's not them, it's not us, it's, it's all of us, it's we together. Anyway, long story short, I lost my first UMG match, not GB actually, forgot about that. It was UMG, and it's a learning experience. I've gotta learn a little bit more about the callouts and the strats, and I'm just picking up a couple things from like Neo and Nick and, and Amp, Let's figure it out. We always do. Guys, you know how I always do it. We always figure things out on the fly. There's, there's never any stress about anything. Yeah, I, I'm just not gonna, not gonna dwell on it. I've been grinding Call of Duty for many, many years. I've been grinding World War II for the past couple days and I have a lot more hours of work to put into it. So I'm ready to get back in. I'm ready to jump onto it. Probably gonna do it right now after I end this vlog actually. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you prefer, the 30 FPS or the 24 FPS clips. I'm gonna try my hardest to make sure that I can distinguish the two in this video that I edit. And like I said, I just wanna get a feel for what you guys are thinking. What do you guys enjoy more? What do you guys think is gonna work out best for me and the channel? Please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to drop that like on the video. Share it with your friends. Let them know. Rick Wan is your boy. I'm out here. I'm gonna take off. Deuces. Uh.